Hi friends! I did a lot of charges for different battery types, but despite the fact that there are many different schemes in the network for the vehicle's battery chargers, I am often asked to assemble the device from very accessible components, so I decided to make this video. The scheme is taken from the popular Radio magazine. This is Tyrester voltage regulator. Perhaps some will blame my choice of such a scheme. After all, it doesn't have control unit, protection, and other things that have modern charges. It's true, but on the other hand, this scheme has been repeated by many, including me, and has established itself as the best. So, let's speak about the scheme. It differs from conventional linear circuits. On the transistor Q1 and Q2, pulse generator is assembled. Therefore, battery charging made through current pulses. This can be seen on an oscilloscope. This mode has a lot of advantages. The first, that the circuit power element, the thyristor, doesn't work in a linear mode, but in a key mode. Consequently, it is less heated. The second plus is that a pulse charge is useful for desulfation of battery plates, so theoretically it can restore the battery. The pulse generator is assembled on a low-power complementary pair of transistors. You can use any suitable. The output current reaches up to 10 amperes. Therefore, it is possible to effectively charge the batteries with a capacity of up to 100 ampere per hour. Rectifier diode's current must be at least 15 to 20 amperes. I used ready bridge for 30 amperes. AC step-down transformer must give at least 15 or 16 volts voltage and corresponding current. It is important to remember that the effective charge current for lead acid car battery is one-tenth of the battery capacity. For example, for the battery of 60 amps, our current should be about 6 amperes. I used ready-made transformer from UPS. I was lucky that the coils were copper, not aluminium, as in cheap UPS. Among old components, I found only one thyristor, but it doesn't work. Theoretically, it is possible to collect analog of thyristor according to this scheme. But I decided to use a transistor MGE13009, and all works fine. PCB is quite compact. You can download it via the link below the video. The transistor and diode bridge is preferable to set on the radiators. It is desirable to add a fan. I used arrow instruments. Emitter scale is for 1 ampere, but I added a shunt to show up to 10 amperes. Voltmeter scale is 15 volts. Later, I will gather all of this into the casing from the computer power supply. Let's check how it works. First, look at the output voltage range. As you can see, the voltage adjustment begins from zero. So, we should turn on the charger to the network and turn the variable resistor to get the output of 13.4 volts. This is voltage of fully charged battery. Next, connect the device to the battery. Be careful, connect plus to plus and minus to minus. When battery will charge, the current will continuously reduce. At the end, it will become about zero. This means that the battery is fully charged. The bad in this design is that the circuit isn't protected against a short circuit. The situation can be saved only by fuse. Also, there is no protection against the reverse polarity. But all this can be added. Links to ready chargers also are under the video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, don't forget thumbs up and share with friends. With you was Akakasyan.